my name is Daniel and I'm a plant health and sea inspector here with the Animal Plant Health Agency. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of our most frequently encountered quarantine pests known as Bermizii tabaki, or quite simply in our lingo, just BT. Around the world, BT is also known as the silverleaf whitefly and also to the backer whitefly. So why is BT so important in plant health? It is one of the most economically damaging agricultural and horticultural pests in the world. This is partly due to its ability to adapt to a wide range of environments. It's known to feed off over 800 different plant species and vector more than 110 plant pathogenic viruses. In 2020 alone, plant health and seed inspectors across the UK intercepted the pest 243 times. Originally, BT was considered to be a pest of field crops in tropical and subtropical regions. But nowadays, due to increases in international trade, it can be found worldwide, including in many glasshouses and greenhouses all across Europe. Most commonly in the UK, we tend to find BT on leafy vegetables such as basil, growing plants such as ponsettias, and in field crops such as the aubergine. One of our main causes of concern with BT is its ability to spread a disease known as the tomato yellow leaf curl virus, or TYLCV. Quite simply, this disease does exactly as it says on the tin and causes a curling and yellowing of leaves in tomato plants, but it's also known to affect the common bean and petunias. Funnily enough, while aubergines may be a host of the plant, they're actually resistant to the disease. So now we know a little bit about BT, we need to know what it looks like. BT isn't a single species of whitefly, but it's a group of at least 40 different organisms that are indistinguishable. BT looks radically different at each of its life stages, so let's take it step by step. Step one, the eggs. BT like to lay their eggs on the underside of leaves. These tend to be a browny yellow color and you need to have the eyes of an eagle to see these with your naked eye as they're only 0.2 millimeters in size. Step two, the nymph. This is the most common stage that we encounter BT at. This is because it spends four of its six life stages in this form. Here it appears as a small, greeny yellow, light colored oval, which is attached to the underside of the leaf. In its later stages, you might find two red dots appearing on the scale, which you'll be able to see with a magnifying glass. As it spends four of its six life stages in this form, it's quite common to come across empty scales, which will appear transparent. Step three, the adults. Its adult form, BT is a hemiptera, or a true bug. This means it has three pairs of jointed legs, two pairs of exposed wings, unlike the cased wings you might find on a beetle, or a single pair of wings that you might find on a fly, and one sucking mouthpiece known as a rostrum. White fly are named after exactly what they look like. They are a small white fly, and in BT's case, they are approximately one millimeter long. You can tell a white fly when it flies off a plant as it goes in a little meandering motion. There are many other white fly species besides from BT, and we may encounter these whilst out on inspection or visiting a glasshouse. One pest that is not of quarantine concern is known as the glasshouse white fly. As glasshouse whitefly is quite commonly found, it's good to know how to tell glasshouse whitefly and BT apart. During the nymph stages of the glasshouse whitefly, these scales have long filaments that protrude from them, which are absent on the scales of BT. During the adult stages, the tip to tell them apart is by looking at the wings. The wings of a BT will be straight down, and when you look at them side on, they'll have a very parallel tented angle whereas while on a glasshouse whitefly, they'll be slightly overlapping and much flatter. Now here's some top tips and tricks for finding BT. Tip one, lighting is key. Ensure the produce or plants you are looking at are well lit and move the leaf back and forth so the scales catch on the light and slightly glisten. Tip two, give it a rub. Scales are well bonded onto the underside of the leaves. If you brush it with your finger and it doesn't fall off, it's likely to be a little critter and not a piece of sediment or a seed. Tip three. Whilst we can have a good guess in the field if a pest is BT or glasshouse whiteflies because of the filaments, we leave the file diagnostics to the pros. Ensure to collect as many scales as you can and put them in a suitable container to send to Ferrer. I hope this video today has given you the basis and some insight into the biology of BT and how you can best find it when you're out on inspection. For further information about Bermizii tabaki, I thoroughly recommend you either go check out DEFRA's Plant Health Portal, EPO, or CABI, 